Hello everyone and welcome to Jumperman Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY. Today we're working on a train unit and we're going to give this unit a condenser coil cleaning and we're going to use the Subco Porta Blaster. So I took off the covers. This is for the high side. That's the low side. That's your evaporator coil. Here's your condenser coil. That's always next to your compressor. I'm gonna start off by getting a little more access here. Just so maybe we can get our wand for the cleaning machine and just get the inside of that coil a little better. So I'm gonna take off this plate here. You know, we can clean like that and yeah so there's no outlets nearby so here's our disconnect and this is a three phase unit so here's our three phases so what i did is actually i just cut up an extension cord and you follow it up here i disconnected the three phases coming into the contactor i took one of the legs so we have 115 volts here put it to the black wire on my cord and then the white wire I just grounded it right here to metal and now we have a 115 volt circuit to power this up and we're not sending power inside this unit at all so there's our power source all right we just turned the power on of dirt here so we're gonna start with the vacuum and then apply the coil cleaner while I'm here I'm also gonna vacuum up the evaporator section because honestly there's a lot of dirt here Okay, so we finished vacuuming and we're gonna mix the condenser coil cleaner with the water inside this tank here so we can apply it on our condenser coil and if you read the instructions we have a dilution chart and for the outdoor coil it says if it's a light soil if it's slightly dirty you use one part new bright which is this and eight parts water medium soil one part new bright with six parts of water <laughs> new bright i said i meant new bright <laughs> so then the, if it's a heavy soil one part new bright and four parts water so i got this filled up a qu uh, three quarters of a way with water and the rest i'm going to fill up with this because honestly this is quite dirty and we're running on high head pressure Pressurize this, we're gonna pump it up. Pump, pump it up, pump, jam, get your body jumping. So, ooh, all right, it's a lot of pressure in there already. So we're gonna use this for the condenser, and I'm really only here for the condenser, but I'm gonna do them a little justice. This is a evaporator coil cleaner. Uh, it foams, and apparently there you don't need to rinse it, but I like to rinse it anyways, because we're in a very easy area. The evaporator coil is usually indoors and it's really hard to really uh, clean up. So this one actually deodorizes, has a nice pleasant smell, and it's non-corrosive. You don't want to use condenser coil cleaner on the evaporator. I think it's going to eat it right up. And you really want to rinse this coil well when using this acid because this thing, there ain't going to be no coil next year. <laughs> Before you apply it, you know, you want to give it a light brush. You can see this lot of hairs here so you just want to get rid of that first before you you know apply this acid because then it's going to be like a nasty and uh, it's going to be hard to get off honestly so just brush down the coil where you can for those heavy pieces of dirt and you're going to be all right
before applying this acid wear gloves and if you can even cover your arms but honestly it's 97 degrees out right now and i just can't bear to wear something long sleeves and cover your eyes this acid is no joke so let's get these on and let's start applying the acid so some would say that you know it was a bit obsessive how i vacuumed everything started brushing and everything but you know this is for the local church that my best friend's mother goes to and i really want to do a good job for them and if, frankie if you watch this i love you man <laughs> so let's get this on here i guess let's get this thing to start foaming up Ooh, we see a color change already getting a nice bath all right so i'm gonna apply this on the inside and out Honestly, it's really important to get the inside of that coil. That's that's the little secret right there, guys. You really got to get the inside. It's a huge difference. You know, you could try to push it through heavy, but you know, I, li I like to do it on both sides. I feel like I get the best results that way, and you know, this this acid is this thing is no joke. You might want to wear a mask while you do this too even a respirator all right we're foaming up all right looking a bit gross so we got the inside well i'm just gonna penetrate this again from the top sometimes i just like stick it right at the coil and just let it drip all the way down really get in there just guys really be careful for your skin and your face you really want to get inside there Yep, now that thing is foamy. You could just see literally dirt coming right out of this thing. Once it's like it got rabies. <laughs> look at that, this thing is alive, man. Woo! Just look at those black things inside here. That's literally chunks of dirt pushing out of here. So we're foaming inside and out. Now that's a wash. When you do something, you better do it right. Don't do it at all. All right, so while I'm letting that acid sit, this is the evaporator coil. It's a nice little access we have here. Okay. So, let's try this out. Let's apply this thing. Oh wow, I already see a bit of foaming. Let's deodorize this thing, let's clean it up a bit. And you know, the EVAP kind of cleans itself while it sweats. So that's I guess that's why there's no rinse on this thing, but I want to give it a quick rinse as well. So let's try to get all of this. Just careful with this motor. Ooh, that is lemony fresh. <laughs> Smells good. All right. There's some serious strength in this little can. I feel like Spider-Man shooting, <laughs> shooting a web right now. Oh, it's running out. All right, we, we hit this whole coil. This is pretty cool. So this is the Subco Porta Blaster. I filled up a bucket of water. And what I love about this unit is that you don't always have a water source. What are you going to run a thousand foot water cord to find a maybe non-existent water source? It's honestly such a hassle. So you could just fill up a bucket and it actually, it sucks water through the bucket, goes through and through this machine. Has two different modes for indoor and outdoor. Outdoor has more pressure. And I'm telling you, this thing is strong. And it does such a great job. And you know, you could adjust the nozzle. You know what I mean? Like, this thing is so good. It does such a great job. Not to mention, it's insanely light. 
you know you guys don't want to be carrying heavy things on your back just in general but especially like on a roof like right now i'm alone and it was hard to get in here i mean look where i gotta crawl up from you know and then there's another ladder i gotta go through there and you know you don't want to be lugging around all these things this thing is just fantastic so pretty much we're just gonna rinse this coil off I like to follow the fins and what's another thing what's good about this is that it's the perfect amount of pressure where you're not going to bend your fins you know a lot of even if you go crossways look it's not we're not bending anything and it just such such a great job definitely recommend it so much dirt came out on this side like wow it's not even funny i'm gonna do a little like i like it's great how you can adjust this so you can get this from afar and it does such a great job when a lot of water accumulates here i'm gonna see if there's a place for it to drain it should be i mean this is an outdoor unit it's meant to get rained on like it's no big deal but you know, like a little tip is that you can drill some holes on the bottom and just help it you know drain drill a couple holes you'll be all right so we're just pretty much gonna rinse this off and yeah it's a great job all right so we hit it with two full buckets five gallon buckets and got another full one here and let's hit this EBAP coil. You can literally see the color changing. Wow. That's all dirt, guys. That is all dirt. Whoa. Hey, that coil cleaner is pretty good. And you know, it's self rinsing, but honestly, I like to give this thing a hit. And I think this is making a big difference. Get a decent amount of pressure to, you know, knock that all out. Wow. That's huge, guys. That's great. Love it. So, let's just wash this up real quick and close everything up. Guys, look at that condensate pan. It's nothing but dirt came out of there. Wow. That was a huge difference. Just shooting this backwards. Whoa. Oh. Definitely cleared out that drain. It's uh, it's flowing way better right now. Ugh. Coming down. I still want to clean out that condensate pan. Dirt. Make sure it comes out on this end. And in the end, we can blow this out backwards again. Sure this thing flows you see there's a lot of dirt coming out of there and it can clog you up there's a lot of dirt inside there right now that came out of the coil i'm just gonna vacuum it up just because that's gonna get stuck there but wow it is insane how much dirt is right there i'll try to get a picture
condensate pan. Everything is 10 times cleaner. It's a great job. A lot of water. And we're pretty much just gonna close everything up, start the unit, see how that affected the pressures because we were running on super high head. It's a really hot day today. Uh, that should have made a difference. And see what uh, how this thing is really operating. And if anybody found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you all next time. Thank you.